Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What we're going to do today is to create a split tail using a length of rope from one of my climbing lines from scratch. Let's get to it. Here are some of the things you're going to need. You got to want to make sure that you have a good climbing line that's been inspected and you are safe uh, with climbing on it. Um, for me, I like to have like a block so when I'm ready to cut, I can cut it on this and it gives me a cleaner cut. Having contractor string for whipping, because once you cut it, you're going to want to whip one end. You could also use electrical tape, but I like to use the whipping. Carabiner, you might want to use it for a termination to test it. Having uh, tape to mark your, your, your length. Also, um, a torch or even a lighter. A good knife. Uh, Leatherman or little pliers for using it when you're whipping and a measuring tape so you can have an idea of what your length is going to be. All right, let's get to the next step. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that all the supplies will be in the description below. Also, there will be links to videos that we've created on all the topics we'll be talking about, whether it's knot tying or technique. With that, let's get to creating the split tail. What a split tail is, is a separate rope connected to your climbing system. In the traditional system, usually it's one rope continuous um, connected to your, your climbing clip and then your friction hitch. So um, when you're making a, a split tail, you, you have to have the proper length. What we're going to do next is work on each individual knot that we're going to use to create the main length. In that, I'll have a termination and I have to find out the length of that. I have a stopper knot. I'll need to figure out the length for that. There's going to be a bridge. I'll have to figure out what length I need for that and also my climbing hitch length. So I'll do it individual and measure them out as we go. The first knot that I'll tie will be my termination and I plan on using a double fisherman's bin. So this is a half inch line. Um, when I'm tying a termination, I want to make sure that the tail length is going to be five times the diameter. So if this is half inch, it's going to be at least two and a half inch tail. Um, so I'm going to start my double fisherman's just like I normally would. Get it all set up here. Okay. And I'll, I'll get, uh, I'll say this, this is about the length that I want for my tail. Get it snugged up. I'll remove some of this eye. I'm going to leave just a little bit. I'm not going to throw a carabiner in there. <clears throat> but what I will do is I'll put a tape here. And that's going to be where I'll count that is the length that I need to the tail. So I'll undo it. <clears throat> now for this double fisherman's, I'm going to need a good 23 inches of length. So the next one I'm going to do will be the... Um, Oh, let me write it down, 23, because I don't want to forget. Yeah. All right, so the next, what I'll do <clears throat> is use a, I'll tie the um, blakes. And I'm just going to tie it on this line here. So do my wraps upward. Let's see. Okay. Two up. All right. Okay. So for this, I'm going to go from this point by where it enters the climbing hitch. And then I'm going to go just maybe a couple inches out here where the, where the open end is. And... Yeah, I'd say, actually, yeah, open end, and right here. So we'll see what this is. And this, this right here where it enters, if you can see that. Let me see. You see how the blakes would be? So this is one end, and this is the other end. So now I'm going to untie and measure that distance between for my blakes. Now, if you use a different hitch, like the taut line, then you'd want to do it like the same way figure out what that length 
for that is going to be. <clears throat> okay. So, from blue tape to blue tape, <clears throat> with inside of it, I would say, that's about 29 inches. <clears throat> so, I'm going to write out 29. All right. Okay. So, the last and the final knot not, will be a termination. And I'll choose to use a figure eight on my termination. So I'll go to the end and I'll make the termination of a figure eight or stopper, not termination, the stopper. And I want to have a few inches on the end of that, maybe that length. Now I'll put a tape here and I'll measure out what the figure eight with the length is going to be. So I have 16 inches. I'll write that down. So 16. So when when you're climbing, everybody has a different length that they want to use when they go from their body to the the climbing hitch. For me, it's around 10 inches. So my bridge will be about 10 inches. So I'll write that down. What I want to do is I'll add those up and then I'll get up my overall length of what my um, tail should be. So I've got 23 and uh, 29, 16, and 10 inches plus 10. So this to make the split tail for climbing, it'll be a complete 78 inches of rope that I'll need. So that's what I'm gonna measure out, the 78 inches. So what I've done here is I've already set out the measuring tape and measured up to 78 inches. So now what I'm going to do is just put on the blue tape so I can go to the table and then cut it. So right here will work. Now that I have the length that I want, I've got it marked out here. Now I'll cut it and, uh, and then uh, I'm going to whip it because I like to have it... Um, so it's not going to fray on me. You know, you could whip, some people whip with tape, you know, like electrical tape. I like to use the contractor string. So that's what I'll do here. So let me get this here. Get this out of the way. Now I'm just going to take this, this off right here because I don't really need it. So now I'll grab the contractor string and I'll probably do about an arm's length, a little more than an arm's length. I'm going to use a knife to cut it. Okay. I'm going to torch the tip of this because I don't like them to fray out and I'm also going to, so this one doesn't. There it goes. Ooh, got me. Okay. So really simple to do this. I'll get a little bite and I'll set it on my rope. And now once I do the bite, I'm going to press down with my thumb and then I'll get the long part and just start wrapping. Now, what I'll do is I'll make it tight as I can as I wrap. Okay. And I'll keep it kind of close when I'm wrapping. Okay. And every time I go around and do that turn, I'm just going to make it tighter. my thumb there make it super tight and I'll go about maybe a half inch of length um, and whatever your preferred length you don't have to have it basically what you like I usually find about a half inch or even an inch maybe will be enough and it holds actually the rope for a long time okay so now that I got that I'll throw the long end through this bite. <clears throat> Get it up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll hold this. I'll grab the Leatherman. And I'll, with this, I'll pull it. And what it does is it puts the bite underneath those wraps. And I'm going to pull it. You can see where it's going. There. Oh, about midway. That's, that'll, that'll hold it. Now it's in there. It's snug. Now what I'm going to do is use a knife to slice the tip off, boom, and then to the other side. 
not coming off that easy. Come on. There it goes. Now I'm going to torch it a little bit. You got to melt it. You want to melt the end so it won't come on undone. Um, I got to be careful with the contractor string because this torch is a little bit hot. It might have been better for me to use a, a regular lighter, but make sure this tip is melted enough and try not to get the string. All right, make sure this is snug here. There we go. So now I have a whipped end. And here's the tail that we're gonna use. Now that we have the length for the split tail, I'm gonna connect it to the, uh, to my climbing system. So I've already connected my um, termination for my, my rope. And here will be my, this is my running end here. So what I'm gonna do is, oh here, get the carabiner, connect it to the post, and then I'll tie my double fisherman's bend. So, here we go. Get it in there. Let's see, get it in there, make sure it's tight enough. I want at least, uh, maybe I'll have three inches of tail. Get it snug. Okay, now I've got that. Now I'll probably have maybe a 10 inch length for my pool. Now I'm gonna tie this Blake's. There we go. Oops. That right there. Go over under the bridge. Come back to the opposite side. Up the two. Okay, now get it tight. Okay, now that I have my Blake's, I'll do my stopper knot on this side. Figure eight. And then I try to get it close to the, the notch so there's no slippage. Okay, there we go. So now that's the setup. It is a little bit bulky here, but um, if you just want to do it from scratch or if you were in, in if your regular split tail died on you, this would be a good option. So make sure I weight it. Make sure it holds me. There you go split tail from scratch also you have um, if this length is too much for you you can do any size you want really and that's the beauty of it so I made a smaller version um, you know with this it's probably another 23 inches a lot shorter so some people may not like the long bridge with a smaller version you can get it close to you and have your knot even closer so here we have it the split tail we first accounted for all the different um, knots that we were going to use one the stopper knot the termination and then the climbing hitch we got all those measurements and then we also accounted for the distance of our bridge and we then we cut the rope we whipped it melted it and now we have a split tail that we can use whenever we need it once again, all of the supplies that we use in this video will be in the description below and there'll be videos linked in the description on all the different knots and techniques that we use today in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.